Hello, everyone. Happy Wednesday. Um, can you guys hear me okay? Can you uh, let me know in the chat panel if you can hear me? We can hear you there, Beatrice. Yeah, thank you, Matt. So um, welcome, everyone. Um, my name is Beatrice Lam. I'm the Field Marketing Manager for ANZAC. I'm based in Melbourne. And over in Sydney, we've got Matt Caffrey, our very talented solution engineer, and um, he's based in Sydney. So um, yeah, we are very excited today to tell you all things about our email security offerings. And um, we'll try to keep this webinar quite short, um, under 30 minutes. I know everyone's busy, so we won't take too much of your time. So if you have any question um, relating to our solution or you have a question for Matt, um, just please feel free to type it into the chat panel. You can see um, at the bottom of your screen and we'll try to cover all your questions at the very end of the presentation. So um, without wasting too much of your time, I'm going to pass the control to Matt and he'll get straight into the presentation. So just bear with me when, while I do that. Hello everyone, this is Matt Caffrey. Uh, solutions engineer for Barracuda MSP in ANZ. I just want to run through the, the agenda for today. Uh, we're going to go and have a look at the current email threat landscape, how uh, Barracuda complete email protection can help, be that through Essentials, Sentinel and Fish Line. And then we'll uh, demonstrate uh, a live uh, demo, uh, very high level. And then we'll go through at the end and have a Q&A. It has become a security industry cliche that uh, email is the number one threat vector. Here is a recent data point uh, in 2017, uh, the Threat Landscape Survey. Uh, they reported back that 74% of threats entered uh, as an email attachment or a link. However, some other studies uh, estimates as high as 90% or more. Clearly, an email, uh, email is a huge source of risk for a modern organisation. We see the previous trend in the past slide from the amount of uh, email we are processing each day at Barracuda, which is now at around 1 billion emails for which reside in over 60,000 email protection customers. Within our Sentinel product, uh, we have now read and contextualized more than 2.5 million years of emails. Within our archiving, we now have over 90 billion emails archived. And at Barracuda, we've been on the email security front line since 2003. So therefore, it's, it's in our pedigree um, as a business. In the early 2000s, the network security perimeter collapsed. It became important to secure data wherever it lived on the network. We are at a similar moment for email security. Securing the gateway is still necessary, but the threats have moved beyond the gateway. Therefore, one, of, uh, one security approach is no longer sufficient. So what does a modern email protection stack look like? It starts with the mailbox, whether you're in a cloud service like Office 365 or G Suite, on-prem or hybrid configuration, the defenses are still the same. The gateway is as important as ever, so make sure you have inbound, outbound security deployed, including traditional signature defenses, advanced techniques like sandboxing. Secure yourself against accidental and malicious data loss with the encryption and DLP. And archive important emails for compliance and or storage reasons. On top of that, ensure resiliency within your backup to recover uh, from an accidental deletion or malicious um, attack of the data. 
and a, con a continuity service that ensures critical emails can be sent during an outage. To stop attacks that bypass the gateway, artificial intelligence can predict how likely an email is to be from a person it purports to be from and DMARC uh, standard is also useful to make sure that any bad actors aren't sending spam and phishing attacks using your domain and brand. Account takeover is an emerging problem where legitimate accounts are taken over and used to spread bad content. We stop at those, we stop those two. Finally, uh, as a last line of defense against email threat that comes through personal accounts, it's critical to uh, turn your users from what would be a liability into a control. Phishing simulation and training makes your users resilient. In fact, we uh, here at Barracuda have built our product portfolio to support that layer approach to security. Barracuda Essentials provides gateway defense and resiliency. Barracuda Sentinel stops brand hijacking and catches social engineering attacks using artificial intelligence. And Barracuda Fish Line provides that last line of defense, training your employees to spot and thought uh, phishing attacks on unsecured personal accounts. The approach is totally modular, letting you layer in defense where you need it um, as a boost or all three components for the ultimate email protection. So let's look at the portfolio, starting with uh, gateway defense from Barracuda Essentials. Essentials is compatible with Office 365 as well as on-premise exchange and hybrid configurations. Its main job is to provide an additional layer of security to add to native features of Office 365 or exchange. Essentials is a suite of tools that provides comprehensive security like sandboxing, archiving, backup, to give you more features than you'll see uh, in your traditional Microsoft email server platforms. So on to email security. So the licensing is based on a pool of licenses, which uh, we charge you on active users. There are no counts for archived shared mailboxes distribution groups. The licensing is done via the Bar Barracuda uh, MSP management platform called Echo. This is an MSP self-service admin portal to easily provision customers and add licenses. It also enables the MSP to manage every customer via one platform by, by uh, passing you through to a service such as Barracuda Cloud Control. So you can see some of the key features here. We've got anti-phishing protection, malware, link, uh, typo squatting protections, and spam filtering, DOS, uh, DOS protection, and also schedule quarantine reports. Cloud archiving and compliance. Once again, this works on a pool of licenses for which you can provision as you require for your client base. With cloud archiving, we're able to archive every single component of the end user's mailbox. This includes email, contacts, tasks, and calendar items. We also import uh, historical data using either an FTP uh, or Barracuda Cloud Control to inject PST archives. This helps to ensure that all messages in the same place uh, for compliance. In terms of PST injection, this is a free of charge service uh, as we're based on a per user model. So just to reiterate, if you've got say 100 emails or a million emails, you'll only be charged for the seats that are active within the organization. Those um, actual people that are within that organization, which is nice uh, as you don't need to worry about data usage or incurring additional costs. 
The end user access is key here with any archiving system. So we make it as easy as possible to access that archive. This is done via any of the following avenues, uh, either via web interface, Outlook plugin, mobile apps that are supporting Android and iOS. We also give you the tools to export that data in a relevant format for compliant situations that you'll encounter. Cloud to cloud backup, once again, charged on a user by user basis. So no charges for number of items or size of data being backed up. This uh, can back up uh, email components such as tasks, contacts, calendars, along with your OneDrive and SharePoint data. You also have the ability to restore either back to the source of the instance or into the same mailbox in, in the case of a, of a mailbox. You can also download an individual mail message and then forward it from, say, your own email client. Um, if you want a deeper dive on this, we can schedule a demo for you because there's a lot to cover off on this one. This is a pure cloud to cloud service. So there won't be any bandwidth or storage issues as we're going directly from Office 365 to Barracuda. Now let's look at our fraud protection layer, Barracuda Sentinel. I know that your technicians will actually love this product. I do. Um, deployment is very straightforward. There is an API directly linking Sentinel into Office 365. From there, the AI goes straight to work on the tenant. This AI is designed to work on contextualizing content that will bypass traditional email scanners. These are emails that are, don't normally contain malicious links or common spam identifiers. The, these types of emails are normally plain text and generally impersonating C-level or accounts employees to gather information and use that to form a story which could result in a desired outcome for an, for an, for an attacker. These emails are remedied in real time by Sentinel and we'll go through that in the demo. The email threat scanner is a free tool for MSPs which enables you to do a retrospective scan of a client's Office 365 tenancy and produces a report you can leverage internally uh, or with your client. This will show you what emails have bypassed your traditional email security layer, which are generally of a spear phishing and fraudulent email flavor. This report will also show you the employees that are at risk. For instance, those people that deal with invoicing or payments, which could experience an impersonation attack, those are the ones that are gonna get highlighted. Domain fraud risk, this is for those types of domains that don't have DMARC configured and it will enable you to analyze uh, also uh, top mailboxes of risk, top recipients of fraud, emails, uh, sorry, employees, sorry, uh, that are impersonated and services that are impersonated. This is an interesting one for uh, as attackers will usually use a meaningful service for impersonation to target the company, such as the company deals with shipping. You'll see more of these sort of Australia Post and UPS type impersonations. If they deal heavily with social media, the attacker will impersonate a service like Facebook. At the end of this session, we'll uh, send out a link for uh, the email threat scanner. The final piece of the puzzle that we're talking about is Barracuda Fish Line. This comes as a fully managed service from Barracuda MSP. So as it's a fully managed service, we do all the heavy lifting for the MSP, as these types of campaigns can take up a lot of time. We want to ensure that we take the burden off having to design and deploy a campaign. Uh, the only thing that you have to do is provide us a list of users uh, that you wish to run the campaign against. 
So uh, 90% of cyber attacks uh, begin with phishing emails. And you know, around 84% of IT professionals said that poor employee behavior uh, is a greater security concern. So getting that, uh, you know, that's why people are susceptible to such social engineering attacks. Uh, 87% of IT security professionals said that their company faced an attempted email-based security threat in the past year. And I could tell you that from my experiences working for an MSP, that uh, I definitely did see this uh, as commonplace week by week throughout a customer, um, a customer base that I was dealing with. So why is security awareness training um, something that we need to uh, target? So 100% of the IT professional surveys said that end user training is important to prevent attacks. And I can see why. You know, phishing simulation and social engineering detection uh, were identified as the most beneficial ways of getting past email security. Uh, 98% said that better the, it's a better way to train employees uh, than a traditional classroom style. You know, people will just turn off. They'll um, be able to respond better if they have it in their face upon clicking it. All right, now on to the demo. So here we are, we've got Barracuda Cloud Control and we're going through uh, our, on our demo account, so you can always have access to that. Uh, we've got a nice you know, couple of graphs down here of inbound statistics of what has been allowed, what has been uh, blocked, uh, threat origins. You know, uh, we can see where they are coming from. Uh, outbound statistics and also ATP statistics. This will also give you a nice breakdown of what types of um, extensions we have uh, detected. Within domains, so uh, one uh, company can have several domains. Within those several domains, we also have the ability to uh, focus on the granularity of, of the settings that are within inside that domain uh, because not all domains are, are equal. We've got you know, anti-spam settings, uh, RBLs, uh, all the way through to anti-phishing. If you want some more information on these types of settings, we'll have to schedule a demo to, to uh, go through that. We also got outbound uh, along with you know, in encryption settings for DLP and also ATP settings. As our uh, stack represents, uh, you know, we've got uh, email security. Now we've got the AI base, which is Barracuda Sentinel. So Barracuda Sentinel, as I'd mentioned before, works on contextualizing emails um, about, you know, email addresses, how things are written, and uh, where they've where they've come from. So you can see here, uh, we've got one that has been remedied. Uh, and in this case, the email uses language that is associated with frauds or scams. So you can see that by the information down the bottom here. There is also another one that I would like to show you. This one here also, um, it, it comes from an address that's not typically Microsoft. And uh, Microsoft typically um, does not email from this. It also has a suspicious URL. I don't know if you can see down on the bottom, on the bottom right, uh, maybe not. Um, this, this is not going to an Office 365 uh, address. We can control how each of these individual um, mail messages are treated, whether it's going to be defaulted to center junk, to delete, or which is probably not highly recommended, leaving that phishing email with inside the inbox. We can also uh, send a, a, a notification 
to that particular administrator that's going to be uh, looking at these, these alerts coming through. The end user gets a customized alert and you can go through and customize this as you see fit. You can say uh, MSP XYZ, they'll be able to um, identify with that and realize that this um, uh, alert is actually from, from IT. We uh, also have an account takeover within Sentinel. So for instance, you've got this one here that has a suspicious login. You can see that this one has come from Nigeria. If we create an incident, uh, it will actually ask you to reset the password of that particular person. It'll give you a nice easy way of uh, checking upon these, these uh, different things that, that uh, need to happen before you do a cleanup. We'll proceed into cleaning up that, that message. And we will now want to uh, look for uh, a message that is going to be um, at fault here. So you can see there's a DocuSign document uh, and there's two of them there. And we just want to uh, click on here. And, and then we want to confirm that all are malicious. So now we should be able to clean up those uh, internal accounts that have also got that same uh, email within inside their mailbox. So we can permanently delete or we can move it to the junk mail. So let's, let's uh, permanently delete and click clean up. So from there, we also have one external user that was pushed. We can't obviously recall that. So what we'll do is we'll be able to send out a, a customized uh, email from this particular person. We can eat, uh, edit their um, uh, information around what the attack is and what we recommend on, on doing, hence cleaning up that particular person's mailbox that's outside of our organization. Within inside that same compromised email account, we also have uh, a review of uh, email rules that have uh, been set up. So we can go through and review these and we can also remove them. And then that's the entire cleanup process of Sentinel. On to uh, forensics and incident response. Now, forensics comes as a free tool. So if you buy uh, Essentials and Sentinel, forensics enables you to do a, a search for a email message that has bypassed all the gateway defenses. So we'll just go for a new one. Uh, for instance, we can uh, just be So for instance, uh, we can look for an email subject line. Uh, let's type in Bitcoin. We don't have any Bitcoin in there. So we've got um, ones here that uh, have micro in the sender name. Uh, so we can look at uh, reviewing those remediation options of these particular emails. Um, with Sentinel, we can then clean up those mailboxes and then we can also send on that email alert once again to that, uh, that end user. We can then um, set a remediation action to either quarantine or block on the Unix sender or domains that are involved and then we will just hit remediate. Moving on to cloud to cloud backup. Now, cloud to cloud backup comes with uh, uh, Archiver and also the uh, Office 365 backup. So within inside um, archiving, 
We have uh, the ability to review what mail messages are going outbound and inbound, which are all journaled through our journaling rule. We also do virus checking with inside those um, emails that, that would have been injected. And then we can um, easily set up that journaling rule through an Office 365 um, script that runs. We, alternatively, we do have PowerShell scripts with inside that same tab to then configure. To top up our email, we've got uh, our Exchange integration. And we also got that PST import that I mentioned that uh, will enable you to upload PSTs. Alternatively, if you do have uh, a, a large amount of PSTs, we can offer you an FTP service. In terms of cloud to cloud backup, uh, which is also something that we would probably just want to do a deep dive on uh, if you want any further information. We do uh, exchange online backup, OneDrive and SharePoint. Now, in terms of being able to restore, we're able to restore an entire mailbox. We're able to restore a mailbox folder and mail message. We can also download it. So we're able to download that, uh, that file and then uh, forward it to how we want. Great, thank you very much. Um, I'll hand it over to uh, Beatrice to take it from here. Hi, thank you, Matt, for giving us the overview and to show us the demo. So it is Q&A time. And um, if you have any questions, just type it into the Q&A box. And I can see that we've got some question coming in already. So let's great, get straight into it. Just bear with me, I'll open the box. Um, yes, so Matt, are you ready? Yes, yes I am. Great, so we've got a question from Abel. Um, so he's just trying to want to understand the data privacy regarding our Barracuda solution. So if you start implementing the software, is this data going to be secure? Yeah, so our uh, product follows the GDPR regulations. Um, and yeah, so if you want any more information on that, I'm sure we can um, send that over to you, Abel. Yeah, great. Thank you. And we've got oh a question, uh, a question from our existing customers. So they're already using Essential, and how much does it cost to... Um, at Sentinel on top of um, the central. Right, uh, so if they, um, it comes as a package, there are um, different levels of, uh, of pricing and we'll be able to supply those to you um, uh, and get you in touch with uh, the salesperson to do that. Yeah, thank you, Matt. And let me have a look. So the third question, um, yep. So where can I assess the threat scanner that you mentioned? Oh, uh, yes, of course. Yep. So um, we'll just um, email that at the end of the presentation. Um, so we can, uh, yeah, you can go through and scan your, your tenant or one of your client's tenants. And once again, that's sort of free of charge. Um, so yeah. Yeah, great. Thank you. And yeah, we've got a question from, oh, it's not really a question. So Duncan is asking whether we can get a copy of the web manager. So yes, um, yep. send out the recording link to you guys, including the email threat scanner. So you can test it out. So yeah, you'll get a copy. And we've got a few more. Um, so the next one is, how does FishLine work? Does the user know it is a simulation training? Yes, yeah, so the end user um, won't know that there is a training simulation going on. They will get an email. Uh, if they do click on that email, they'll um, uh, that will be produced in a report and then delivered to the MSP. And the MSP will be able to then decide on how they want to um, sell that to the um, to the end user or the the end company that they deal with. Yeah. Thanks. And next question, how do we digest all emails into the archiver? Yeah. So yeah, good question. Um, we do have FTP and we can also do it through Barracuda Cloud Control. So um, that's just done in a you know, PST format. Um, it's probably going to be easier if, you've, if you're lumping, you know, hundreds of gigs into, um, into the archiver, then we'll be able to set you up with that FTP. 
Yeah. And we've got one more. Um, can Barracuda be integrated along with website through the API integration? Again, data privacy um, related. Yeah, so on this one, I'll probably have to get back to you. I see Abel has sent that uh, as a message. Uh, we'll just have to uh, put that one to one side and I'll um, be able to send you an email directly. Great. Good thanks. question though. <laughs> um, yes, I think we, that's all the question that we have. Again, um, if you have further question, feel free to contact uh, Matt. So um, as you can see, we've got his contact details on the screen. So if you would like to see a deep dive into the product, um, once again, just uh, let Matt know and he can organize a one-on-one -on -one demo to you guys. And again, if you have any like marketing questions or if you would like to like us to support um, you guys to kind of like promote your end customer, um, just feel free to contact me and I'll be, I'll be very happy to help you guys out. So um, I think our timing is perfect, it's 2.31. So um, yeah, again, thank you, Matt, um, for taking your time to give us a demo. It was very good. And um, yeah, hope you guys find the content uh, helpful to you. And um, yeah, so have a, enjoy the rest of the Wednesday and I look forward to um, see you guys in our next webinar. Thank, thank you, everyone.